guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you how I blow dry my naturally curly hair how I get my hair to go from this to this full bouncy moisturize but most importantly dry and not frizzy now there's a couple techniques I use I do use a diffuser um, and my diffuser is actually broken as you can see hold up it's coming I promise you it's broken See, there you go, <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> I've had this for years, so I guess it just finally came apart, but I haven't gotten another one yet, so I still use it, and I mean, it still works. So I use a diffuser, and you wanna get one with a wide bowl, um, because the wider the bowl, the more air you're gonna be letting into your hair to kind of diffuse your curls and make sure they're frizz free. So I use a diffuser and just a regular old blow dryer. I need to buy a new blow dryer and diffuser, but just use what you have because what you have is better than nothing. Before I start blow drying my hair, I let my hair air dry. And today I think I let my hair air dry for about 30 minutes. 30 to 45 minutes. And then what I did, because the top of my hair lacks definition, I don't know if it's still damaged from heat or from whatever, but what I did was I put about six twists on top of my hair, which I mean, I just grabbed my hair and just twisted it together. And I just made those six twists on top of my hair because if I don't do that, then the top of my hair does get really frizzy. P.S. Don't mind the bumps behind me moving soon so disregard those so now I'm going to show you how I blow dry and diffuse my hair alrighty so like I said at first I let my hair air dry for a while because you don't want to put direct heat on your hair to cause any frizz so now I am taking my blow dryer and my diffuser and I'm working my way around putting the hair in the cup and kind of lifting and holding now this is a tedious process this doesn't take like five minutes this takes like a good you know 15 20 maybe 30 minutes depending on if you're using heat or not I go from using no heat to a little bit of heat to no heat just so I can kind of speed up the process and seal in my curls now one of the reasons why I diffuse my hair instead of letting my hair air dry is because I want the volume I want my hair to be big and bold and just not sit there flat I hate when my hair looks flat and it usually is you know regular and flat if I don't diffuse it so by flipping my hair over and working that diffuser and blow dryer through my curls it really adds a lot of volume to my hair and like I said it is tedious so you just want to take your time and just work with it now the front area of my hair I want to make sure I dry completely because I do have those twists in my hair if you're going to twist your hair or manipulate your hair in any kind of way, putting twists or rollers or anything, you have to make sure that that hair is dry before you start to unravel them. Now I'm going to take all six of the twists and I'm going to start to unravel them. My hair is probably about 95% dry, it's majority dry. So I'm going to take an oil concoction, you can use whatever oil, this is the oil that I did a DIY on, it's pretty much just olive oil and coconut oil mixed together. Rub it in my hands so when I'm taking my twists apart, my hands aren't dry and it doesn't cause any frizz to my hair. I'm going to start from the back and work my way to the front and pretty much what I'm doing is I'm going to reverse the twist the opposite way which I twisted it and then gently separate it. This is why you want to have some kind of oil on your hands for when you are touching your hair and separating your hair. It doesn't get too frizzy, it doesn't mess up the curl, but you want to do this gently, you don't want to rush. So usually I would twist it away from my face. Now I'm going to twist it towards my face, which is the opposite direction, and then separate. And then look, it's all defined, especially with my straight pieces in the front, it's all defined. So I'm going to finish up untwisting the front of my hair and making sure it's all fluffed out. Put a little bit more oil on my ends because after the blow drying, it does get a little dry, just a little bit. So put the oil back onto my ends to replenish it and then just give my hair one last fluff with the blow dryer just to define those front curls. And then that's it, voila, all done blow drying. It only takes about 15 to 20 minutes and you have luscious curl defined hair. I think the key to diffusing your hair is not to use your heat on too high and to make sure that you air dry your hair a little bit before you start diffusing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.